Happy New Year, everyone. As we step into 2026, I genuinely hope this year brings you good health, happiness, and a lot of reasons to feel optimistic. There's something about the start of a new year that naturally makes you look back at how far things have come and at the same time look ahead at what's about to happen. And for the topic we're talking about today, that feeling couldn't be more fitting. What you're about to see is actually put together by a community member, Dr. T. Henry, who went through the effort of collecting, organizing, and annotating the progress images by date. That alone says a lot about how invested the community is. Over the past few months, updates have felt slow at times, scattered at others, and easy to lose track of if you weren't paying close attention. So instead of looking at these moments in isolation, I thought it would be valuable to watch the progress unfold as one continuous story and really take in how much ground was covered toward the end of the year. And that timing matters a lot because 2026 is shaping up to be a make or break year. This is the year where things have to move from promising progress to actual production reality. There's no sugarcoating that. Expectations are high, deadlines are real, and CES is now right around the corner. So let's walk through these PI build milestones together and talk about what they really show. The first images start showing up back in September. At that point, the focus was very clearly on fundamentals, things like door reinforcement and early chassis details. Nothing flashy, but absolutely critical. This is the kind of work that never gets the spotlight, but determines whether everything else works the way it should later. As we move into early October, more of the structural and mechanical elements start to come into view. You see details like the motor drive shaft, front suspension components, and the front wheel hub. These aren't just parts lying around anymore, they're signs that systems are starting to come together. Then comes the Halloween update, which gave us a bit more personality mixed in with the progress. We see familiar faces, more interior components like the roll bar and shifter, and glimpses into areas like the solar clean room. Around this time, you also start seeing battery-related components, including the bus bar design they decided to go with. It's interesting because, on the surface, the alternative design might seem simpler, but the reasoning here is about real-world manufacturability. Fewer prep steps, more flexibility, and easier assembly, even if it looks counterintuitive at first glance. These are the kinds of decisions that don't make headlines, but can make break production efficiency. As the calendar flips closer to the end of the year, something noticeably changes. December 31st stands out as a turning point. The pace picks up. Suddenly, you're not just seeing isolated components, you're seeing multiple PI vehicles in the background. VIN numbers being assigned, windshield wipers installed, side mirrors mounted. This is the stage where things start to feel real. Not theoretical, not aspirational, real. We get closer looks at interior details too. Speakers, lights, cup holders, small components that collectively shape the day-to-day -day experience of the vehicle. Even materials like the cork interior panels spark discussion. People aren't just asking whether it looks good, they're wondering how it will hold up over time, whether it will stain, and how it will age. That's the kind of question people ask when they're imagining ownership, not just watching a concept. One detail that really stands out during this period is the confirmation that the team has been working straight through the holidays. Christmas, New Year's, no pause. And while that's not something to celebrate lightly, it does highlight the pressure of external deadlines. CES doesn't move, expectations don't wait, and when those timelines collide, teams often have no choice but to push through. It's a reminder of how close this moment really is. As more images roll in, we start seeing cleaner assemblies, more complete chassis shots, and installed lighting elements. Even the smaller details, like the low-voltage power distribution unit, show a level of polish and organization that suggests maturity in the design. It looks clean, intentional, and ready for integration, not like a prototype held together just for show. There's also been a lot of curiosity around practical questions like where the jacking points are, and now we finally have clarity on that. 
Yes, accessing them requires removing underbody panels, which might be inconvenient for simple tasks like changing a wheel, but they're clearly strong, well-defined, and suitable for shop use. For everyday scenarios, it's likely the suspension points will handle simpler lifts just fine. Again, these are real-world ownership considerations starting to surface. Visually, the identity of the vehicle continues to come into focus. The front lighting arrangement gives it almost a subtle, friendly expression, with illuminated elements that enhance visibility without being aggressive or overly bright. Toward the very end of December, we see a nearly complete exterior shot. Most surfaces are on, wheel covers are installed up front, and while some elements like solar panels and undercarriage components are still pending, the overall form is unmistakable now. One image in particular shows a truck and trailer in the background, which raises interesting questions. Is this part of the logistics setup for transporting vehicles to CES? Possibly. It's speculation, but it's the kind of speculation that naturally happens when things are this close. And then, just today, we see the solar hood panel. It's not fully seated yet, with a visible gap that still needs to be resolved. But that's almost the point. This isn't a distant idea anymore. It's the final stages of assembly. Solar panels are going on. Remaining surfaces are being installed. The checklist is getting shorter. Which brings us to now. We are officially less than a week away from the CES unveiling. That's not hype, that's a fact. I'll be there when the exhibit opens at 10 a.m., heading straight to the booth. I'll be live streaming, so if you're there in person, there's a good chance you'll end up on stream, which is unless you'd prefer not to, in which case just let me know and I'll respect that. More than anything, this moment feels like a collective milestone. A year ago, many of these updates felt distant and abstract. Now, they're tangible. As we head into 2026, all eyes are on what comes next. So here's to a new year, to progress that's finally accelerating, and to hoping that this is the year everything comes together. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's wish for the best and see where this journey takes us next.